I share with you this devotion this morning from on top of our flower mound. This is what our city is known for. What I love is to remember Holy Week, we have three crosses in the background and each has a specific meaning. One cross represents an individual who mocked Jesus, the other, a sinner who found forgiveness, and the last, Jesus who gave up his life to pay the ransom for humanity. We look forward to Easter, but first let's look at the command from Jesus on that final Passover meal. Today, we celebrate Holy Thursday, also known as Maundy Thursday. Maundy comes from the Latin word mandatum, which means command. Today, Jesus shares the last command to his disciples. We're going to look at that in just a few moments. On this day, Jesus partook of his final Passover meal with his disciples and washed their feet. John 13, 34 through 35 says, a new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Others will see Christ in you if you love. This type of love only comes from the Father, but it, it has been made available to you and I today. Jesus displayed this love beautifully that night. He poured some water in a basin and began to wash the feet of his disciples. He demonstrated that the greatest among us is willing to truly serve his or her neighbor. Now there was some tension in the room also. The love of Jesus was on full display and yet a close follower began his betrayal process. The pain of losing a brother must have been difficult, but Jesus knew what he had come to do in this world. This is why we celebrate communion today and every month. Jesus displayed love to a world despite the betrayal of Judas. Jesus washed Peter's feet despite the denial that would come. Jesus loved the world despite its rejection and mockery. Jesus loved and he loves you today. Jesus at his last Passover meal took the bread and the cup and he encouraged his disciples to remember him. This weekend, as we receive communion, remember him. Remember his death, but also remember his resurrection until he comes to receive his church. What's going on, Grace? We are so excited for Easter weekend this weekend. We have a lot of amazing things planned on how we're going to celebrate uh, the death and resurrection of our Savior. This Friday, join us for our Good Friday service at 7 p.m. where we remember the, the sacrifice that Jesus made for us on the cross almost 2,000 years ago. And on Sunday morning, we're gonna celebrate the resurrection at 9 and 10.30, but very important, we want you to bring someone with you. Let's love like Jesus as we've been talking about this whole year and show others the love that he gave for them as well. We'll see you there.